they are talking about the case of the here weight of the cytoplasm so they will be having what so they will be having the 80% of the what the water molecules as well as the fluids so in these fluids the 80% of the content is actually of what so these are actually of the water molecules as well as when we are talking about these case momentum of what momentum of the centrioles so these are containing what what things so your centrioles is containing the dissolved nutrition often these are containing containing what often these are containing the different types of the enzymes as well as when we are talking about these case means what are actually the nutrients as well as the nutrition remember so these are broadly divided in term of the two broad categories so these are actually what so these are the macronutrition then then we are having the micronutrition so the nutrition which will be employed as well as being required by the plant in term of what in term of the small ratio coming under what case so it will be coming under the micronutrition as well as when we are talking about the case of the macronutrition by the name itself it is very clear means what so the nutrition which will be particularly required by the plant in term of the wider ratio coming under what case so it will be actually coming under the here in order in term of the macronutrition as well as when we are talking about the role of these mineral mean in order of what mean in order of the cytoplasm playing important role to decide what to decide the particular shape as well as what the here in of the rigidity of the shape why is it so this is due to because these are having what so these are resembling the viscous fluid like structure so playing important role to demonstrate what to demonstrate the shape as well as the structure with reference to what with reference to the shape as well as when we are talking about these cases, we need to in terms of what, we need what are actually the function with reference to what, with reference to the cytoplasm. So these are playing important role in order to transport what, tell me, in order to transport the different types of the enzymes as well as the water molecules as well as the metabolites. As well as when we are talking about these cases, means what are actually the metabolites. So you are very clear about that, remember? So playing important role to carry out as well as give what as well as give these mineral in terms of the energy cases such as we are having what such as we are having the anabolism as well as the catabolism as well as with reference by its name we'll be getting what we'll be getting the two components such as what such as the anabolities then then the metabolities so we'll be understanding about that later so now let's understand about these means what are actually the larger vacuoles which are particularly being present with reference to what with reference in these cases. So when we are talking about these cases, means what are actually the vacuoles? Remember, so what are vacuoles? So vacuoles are generally being present with reference to the plant cell in order in term of what? In term of the wider ratio as well as the wider proportion. But when we are talking in the case of the animal cell, so it will be not present. Or either if it will be present, then it what ratio? Then in term of the smaller components as well as in, the, in order in term of the smaller ratio. Often when we are talking about what are actually the role of these vacuoles, so playing important role in order in term of what? Playing important role in order to expire the excess amount of what? The, to expire the excess amount of the waste as well as the toxic products. Often these are playing important role in order in term of what? In order in term to here in order to store the particular food as well as the ingredients such as these are often playing important role as well as these are present in order in term of what in order in term of the plant cells as well as what so this will be often present in term of the animal cells but when we are talking about in the case of the animal cells as well as the plant cells so these are particularly being what surrounded as well as being protected in the case of what in the case of the plant say so these are particularly being surrounded with reference to what with reference to the selectively permeable membrane of course so these are known as what so these are known as the tonoplast as well as when we are talking in the case of the animal cells so we will be having what tell me so in the case of the animal cells we will be having these presence of the vacuoles of course so playing important role in order to carry out what in order to carry out the ingestion mechanism as well as the role of the ingestion so what are ingestion remember so these are the particular cores when we are talking in the case of the digestion mechanism often you are very clear about that means what are actually the digestion remember so the process of the breakdown of the complex food in order in down the simpler ones coming under what case so this will be coming under the case of the digestion as well as so when we are talking about these cases in terms of the ingestion of food so these are literally being present with reference to what so these are being present with reference in the case of the amoeba but when we are talking about the expiling of the excess waste so these are playing important role to expel in, in order in terms of the expelling of the excess waste. Mean what? Mean in terms of the vacuoles. In term, in order in terms of the what cells, in order in terms of the animal cells. As well as the best example will be what? So the presence of the vacuoles, as well as what the expelling of the waste mechanism or rather the water. Particularly in order in case of what in order in case of the protozoa as well as when we are talking about the case of the protozoa so you are very clear about that now so when we are talking about these case momentum of what in order in terms of the vacuoles so these vacuoles are often known as what so these vacuoles are often known as the lysosomes why is it so 
This is due to because these are containing the hydrolytic enzymes. And when we are talking about the hydrolytic, so we are very clear about that. When the particular enzymes which will be particularly dissolved as well as what as well as could be broken down with reference in the case of the water molecules coming under what case? So it will be coming under the hydrolytic enzymes as well as on the other hand we are having the enzymes case. So what are actually the enzymes remember? So enzymes are the biocatalyst playing important role in order in terms of what in order to increase or decrease the rate of reaction without being what without being altered. So this is somewhat the condition when we are talking about the case of the centrioles as well as the vacuoles. So remember as well as as well as as well as when we are talking about these cases in order in terms of what in order in terms of the epidermis. So we are very clearly understanding as well as knowing about this. So these are often playing important role in order for what? So these are often playing important role in order to resist the water loss. So by this mechanism we are very clear about that. So why does the water loss is particularly being restricted? Remember as well as understood. So these are having the here when in order in terms of what in order in terms of the cytoplasm. Often these are having the vacuoles like projection as well as structure. Often we have broadly understood what are actually these in order in terms of the cytoplasm as well as the vacuoles. So these are particularly being present with reference to what? With reference in the case of the epidermis. And epidermis are actually what? So these are the various parts with reference to what? With reference to your epidermis tissue or rather the epidermal tissue. Now, so let's understand with reference to the another of the components as well as the parts with reference to what? With reference to these in order in terms of the epidermal tissue. So we are often having what? So we are often having the epidermal appendix. Now, so in, when we are talking about these cases, in order what are actually the epidermal appendix, remember? So in this case, what will be happening? Thus, when we are talking about the case of the epidermal appendage, so in this case what will be happening? So in this case the outer growth will be opening. So you could often popularly find here on the board here. As well as, when we are talking about this case in order in terms of what? In order in terms of the epidermal appendage. So these are particularly bearing what? So these are bearing the hair like projection. So this hair like projection will be present as well as in order in terms of what? In order in terms of the suit rays as well as the root rays. But when we are talking about in the case of the suit rays, so these are particularly being given with reference to what? With reference to the specialized name. So these are known as what? So these are known as the triposomes. Fine. As well as when we are talking in the second case, in order in terms of what? In order in terms of the root hairs. So particularly what? So in the case of the root hairs or either the root. So you are very clear about that. So these are what? So these are, tell me, so these are the positively geotropic. Why is it so? These are particularly being merged with reference to the addition of the soil. As well as when we are talking about the here, in order in terms of the soil as well as the suit rays. So you are very clear about that it means what are actually the suit. So this will be known as what? So this will be known as the negatively geotropic. Why is it so? This is due to because it is particularly being present with reference to what? With reference in terms of the outer surface or rather in terms of the outer rays of what? Of actually the swine. Thus, these are known as the negatively geotropic. Based on the what? Based on the phototropic impact or rather in terms of the photosynthesis. So this will be known as what very clearly. So your stem or rather the suit rays will be coming under as well as known as what. So this will be known as the positively phototropic. Why is it so? This, are, this is due to because these are particularly playing important role in order in order to carry out what? In order to carry out the photosynthesis course. As well as when we are talking in the case of the suit system, this will be known as what? So this will be known as the negatively phototropic. Why is it so? This is due to because this cannot perform the photosynthesis role as well as the work as well as when we are talking about these mechanisms so you are very clear about that now so when we are talking about these cases in order in terms of what so in terms of the here what thus thus when we are talking about the case of the root here so these are playing important role in order to carry out work so your root hairs are playing important role in order to carry as well as absorb the sufficient amount of the waters as well as minerals particularly from what is particularly from the soil rays often remember the soils as well as in this case we will be often having the SiO2 means what the silica so these are particularly the whitish ingredients project in order in terms of what in order in terms of the soil rays now so after that you are often having the second part when we are talking about the case of what when we are talking in the case of this in order in terms of what in order in terms of the stomata but when we are talking about what are actually the stomata so you have to understand the primary thing in it so these are actually what so these are particularly the part of the epidermal tissue or rather the component of what of the epidermal tissue now so when we are talking about the epi here we know what are actually the stomata so stomata are what so stomata are the pores like structure particularly 
project on what? So these are the pores like structure in the epidermis. Project on what? Project on the surface of the leaves. And when we are talking about these case, means what are actually the leaves? Remember? So this will be bearing the chlorophyllous pigment, particularly. And you are very clear about that. We know that what are actually these remember? So we are having the chlorophyll A, <laughs> then the chlorophyll B, then the chlorophyll C. Often you will be having the genthophiles. But we will be understanding about that term later. So you understand about what are actually the stomata? Tell me. So stomata are the pores like structure present where present in the epidermis on the surface of the leaves as well as when we are talking about these cases. So these are particularly bearing the two broad one. So these are bearing the two broad gar cell like structure playing important role in order to carry out as well as what in order for the entrance of what of the substances as well as the different types of the gases often playing in order important role in order for what in order for the outlet in order in terms of what in order for the exit mechanism so these are particularly being controlled as well as being regulated with reference to what with reference to nothing else but these in order in terms of what mean in order in terms of the guard cells as well as when we are talking about this case means what are actually the stomata so these stomata playing important role in order for what? In order for the cases exchange as well as what? As well as the water vapor exchange. So, so when we are talking about these cases, means what are actually the role of these mineral in terms of the stomata? So these stomata playing important role in order to carry out what? So these particular stomata playing important role to regulate the gaseous exchange as well as what? As well as the water vapor exchange with the reference between what? With the reference between the external environment as well as what? As well as the external air as well as between these main and order in terms of the internal surface of the leaves. So this is somewhat the condition when we are talking about the case of the plant tissue system in which we have been about the another as well as the different types of the tissue system such as what such as the epidermal tissue so these are particularly being divided as well as having the different types of the components such as the epidermis then what then the epidermal appendix then what then the stomata often you could popularly find here on the board the particular structure as well as the diagram of what of the epidermal cells as well as the stomata so here find it so these are often bearing the subsidiary cells. So we'll be understanding about that later. Often we have understood about the beating products of what? Of this means what are actually the mesmeric tissue, as well as what are actually the plant tissue, as well as what? As well as the intercalary meristium, as well as what? As well as the lateral meristium. Often here we have understood about what are actually the apical meristem remember as well as we have often understood about the bit introduction about the another another component such as what are actually the cell organelles in order in terms of what in order in terms of the cytoplasm as well as what as well as what are actually the vacuoles so this is somewhat the condition when we are talking about these cases so you could often popularly write these <coughs> So if you like the work with reference to the education as well as the lectures as well as what as well as the videos so you could often subscribe that then like then particularly do what then share as well as comment below in the text thus I will be knowing that what concept actually you are hungry for or what have you understood or other got so very very thank you with reference to what with reference to the now learner tutorials so please like subscribe as well as share my lectures very very thank you